guys I have a video for you guys that I've been putting off for a while and that is a makeup wipe comparison video I talked about this last year and I wanted to save up some more products like more makeup wipes and wipes in general so I can give you guys a variety of a comparison and what I think of them so basically this is my reviews of these makeup wipes that I've been saving for well over a year in a box to do this video for you guys uh, if you're wondering how many I have you haven't seen the thumbnail which you probably did because you're like holy smoke girl you have a lot of makeup wipes um this is all of the makeup wipes that I've used over the last year-ish. That kind of gives me an idea how many makeup wipes I actually go through. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this with you. I saved the rest of my night for you guys to do this video. So I can kind of give you info of what I think about it. So keep watching. So the first ones I have is the Natra Touch Lavender Organic Extract. Um... Soft textured wipes are infused with natural and organic bonicles that gently remove makeup, waterproof mascara, and impurities, leaving skin soft and supple. So this is what they say um, this product does. This was purchased at Ross for $2.99. So There's a total of 30 wipes in there, which is really good because if you look at most um, supermarkets or drug stores or anywhere in general, you usually don't get 30 wipes in it, which is awesome. These wipes were very, very small. They are very drying. I tried, with any of my wipes that I say is dry, I have tried flipping them upside down and they don't work. So this is one that I would not recommend to anybody, even for free. Um, these actually broke me out and I don't have a sensitive face. So my opinion on these is I would seriously save your money and I would purchase something else than these because these just don't work for me and if you have really sensitive skin these probably are going to be the worst nightmare for you so i would not recommend these at all okay so let's go on to these morning burst morning blast ones i have the grapefruit oil one um i have the eucalyptus oil one and then I also have the menthol one, which is in the green package. Each of these wipes come with 25 in them. And these wipes um, claim to cleanse the skin while removing dry, dehydrating layers from the skin surface. They also help to relieve skin tightness and promote skin smoothness and comfort due to the eucalyptus oil cooling and refreshing properties. Um, none of these really said much about makeup this one says pores and then the green one the menthol one um just said it left uh my skin healthy and blemish free um skin it helps keep peppermint pimples at bay and promotes healthy blemish skin what i could say about these they were bought in a set so i think i paid 7.99 for all three of them together and they have a total of 25, so there's a total of uh, fit, uh, 75 wipes in the package overall. Um, this one smelled like Vicks Vapor Rub. This one was probably, this is the grapefruit oil one, was probably the best smelling one. And I don't have a sensitivity to like, like different scents of makeup wipes. And then the eucalyptus oil um, had an earthy scent to it. Um, what I could say about these in general was they had no control of taking off my makeup at all. Um, I honestly kept on trying to hope that they would work because, you know, $8 for 75 wipes is not extremely too bad. But what I could say is um, these were not my favorite. So I wouldn't actually recommend those to, to anybody. <laughs> okay, moving on to these wipes. These are um, the Kella, I've got wipes floating everywhere here. Um, these are the Kella Makeup Cleansing Tissues, bought at Marshalls for $2.99 um, in their green tea. Um, I like these a lot. These had a really um, soft scent to them. Um, 
there wasn't a lot of like bad scent to it. It was like a fresh, clean scent. You get a total of 30 in here. That's one of the reasons why I like going to Ross and TJ Marshalls and TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, you know, all of them places because these wipes you can get like 30 if not more in them. But I really like these. Um, they weren't as large as I would want them to be for a makeup wipe. Um, I did use two of them at a time because I don't know, I thick makeup, I, I have no idea. Um, but I did like these. Um, I can't find them anywhere at the store. I've tried TJ Maxx, I've tried Marshalls, I've tried Ross because they're kind of like the same brand, like the same chain of stores, but I couldn't find them. But if you do see these, I would recommend them. Um, I felt that even after two wipes, they did actually help take off the makeup. Um, so it did say makeup cleanse and tissues, which um, the claims of it is true. It did help take off the makeup. I did see a little bit of a residue afterwards, but um, in general, um, these worked better than the other ones. Okay, so I have a pomegranate. This was $2.99. An aloe vera. This one was $2.99. Um, this one is um, just a pore cleanse and makeup remover tissue for $2.99. Um, I have a cucumber one, which is $2.99. And I have a skin skin common one, which was probably $2.99 as well. Um, I love these. I can't find this anywhere in the store. Um, I think I turned my friend Melissa onto this as well and she couldn't find them either. But this is by the brand of Rich, um, I don't know, Rich on Incorporated LA California, richon.com. Um, I can't get into the website, but this brand in general, I really, really like. So let me tell you and break this down of what I thought of each one. The Skin Common Makeup Remover Cleansing Tissues. Oh yeah, these are $3 and you get 60 sheets in them. Um, and they stayed dry. I mean, they stayed wet. So that was really good. Um, okay, so the Skin Common Makeup Remover Tissues. My face was still red after using these, so I don't honestly say that they calmed my skin but they were good for making making sure my makeup was taken off of my face the cucumber makeup removing cleansing tissues wow that's a mouthful um I like the smell of this it wasn't overpowering and what can I say more about it I mean just in general I like these a lot but this one did actually take my makeup pretty well um and I had no issues my face was a little red in the beginning, um, and then it just went away. Um, the pore cleansing makeup removing tissues. Um, I, you know, don't have a large amount of pores on my face, and, you know, I didn't see that this really cleaned out my pores, because I would go in, you know, and wash your face afterwards, just because that's kind of like what you do. Um, this is kind of like the first dance, but I like these a lot. I don't think they shrink my pores, and they didn't really clear them out. Um, next one is the aloe vera makeup removing cleansing tissues. Um, out of all of those, I honestly would have to say I like this one the most. Um, and then I like the pomegranate, which is one as well. Um, I felt that these actually gave me more of a cleansing effect. Um, it took off a lot of my cleansing, like my makeup, then I wish that, um, <laughs> It took off my makeup a lot better. So I would recommend those if you can find those. I know they're really difficult because I've not been able to find them ever since I used them last. Okay, so moving on to what you can find actually in the store. Let's go ahead and talk about the Yes Cleansing Facial Wipes. These are with apple and lemon peel. Wipes on moisture in seconds. Um, these have 40 wipes in them only because I found the 60% bigger bag. Um, these burned my eyeballs. Um, I swear you could actually use this. This is avoid contact with eyes, but I mean, these are cleansing wipes. Okay. So maybe they're not supposed to take off your makeup, but these kept my face, got my skin really dry and I don't feel like they were as good as you know these for $2.99 these were like 
seven or eight dollars I don't know but um I like the smell of them I just didn't like the performance of them and for the price of them and them not working um I really think that was pretty much a waste um so sometimes they would burn my eyes like I was mentioning but not all the time so that was kind of strange but you know I would want it to work the same all the way through if it's not burning my eyes it shouldn't burn my eyes later on in life um again 40 wipes again I don't really feel wipes on moisture in seconds I don't feel like it really cleansed and moisturized my skin so I would not recommend those or repurchase those in the future okay so yes to cucumber soothing fibrogelinic facial wipes um cleanses removes makeup and nourish your skin all in one swipe this had 40 in them and um this was the ingrid nielsen ones i got it because it's an ingrid nielsen i didn't see much of a i don't know i mean i didn't really see much of it working for my skin so I would have to say, save your money and don't buy these um, unless you just want to clean your skin. Now you're trying to remove your makeup because it says instantly removes makeup. If you're trying to remove your makeup, don't count on those actually doing it. So I wouldn't actually highly recommend purchasing those in the future. Um, again, that's my opinion. It might work differently for other people, but for me, it just didn't work. The Burt's Bees, this is the pink grapefruit. This one has 30 pre-moisture towelettes in them. Um, removes dirt, oil, and makeup without rinsing. This is what the package looks like. Um, there is something strange in the neighborhood about these. Um, these had a really, you know, nice smell and everything, but I don't feel like these really remove the makeup off of my face. Um, I always tended to have like uh, makeup in my corners of my eyes here, and then I would have some right right in the corner there and then um sometimes i even felt like this rubbed my makeup into my eyes i don't know it was kind of a weird situation it smelled you know it smelled fine but and i don't like grapefruit but for the claims that it made and the cost Burt's Bees is not cheap at all um so i would have to say these were a flop as well um it's great i like how it had the little container that you could you know open up and get your wipe out without it drying out but again not the best and not worth the money um i don't know i between this and yes to cucumbers yes to carrot yeah yes to cucumbers and yes to blueberries you know i really had high hopes to purchase in you know these and being all special and everything but they just really didn't work for me these are the pomegranate infused makeup cleansing wipes sorry little things were appear by body prescriptions these were purchased at ross let me go ahead and flip that down these were purchased at ross for two dollars and 99 cents these have a total of 33 in them so again you have enough for an entire month um these um little babies were not big at all like i don't know why but these were not big enough to do your entire face you actually had to get a few of them and because of the situation of the poor packaging, which is what this looks like, um, these dried out really fast. Unfortunately, when I got through halfway through the pack, and you know, I keep my wipes down, but when I got through halfway the pack, these didn't um, have any moisture in them, which is so annoying. I mean, I could put them in a bag, but come on now, you're not really supposed to have to do extra strips when, extra steps when it comes to you know things it, it should come packaged enough to where you don't have to so unfortunately that is a no-go for me um when I was going through these makeup wipes before I had people comment on my video that I should try the big lots Ep Epili wipes the vitamin C ones um, they were a dollar and I don't know how many is in here 30 maybe um, best to just use 35 days. I don't know. Um, so these are made in Korea. Um, here is the package. I liked how the package actually came up here and then was able to close. So the entire time of having these, the package always remained closed, which is really nice. 
Okay, so these won't clog pores and moisturize the skin, safe for contact lens wearers. Okay, so these were good. They were only a dollar, um, so I can't really say much about how horrible they were when they were only like a dollar, either a dollar or two dollars. I have a few more of these, but um, I am not going to repurchase these. The reason why I'm not going to repurchase these is because I had to like literally scrub my face to get the makeup off. And then when I came through with my cleansing water, it still had, um, there was still some in there. So, um, some makeup on my face. So these, unfortunately, they smell good, but you know, if I was wanting to just use this and go to bed real quick because I didn't want to, you know, go through my entire skincare, these were not good for me. Um, but they looked, they worked good for taking off swatches off of my hand when I did have them on there. So let's go ahead and swatch to the good ones. Um, I got these in a Ipsy bag. This is the Skin Iceland. Um, it's got 10 single use cloths in it. So it was just a sample trial pack. Um, I'm sure everybody has gotten these. Um, these were super, super wet. <laughs> um, story is these actually in my purse came open and soaked everything inside my purse. In my purse though itself um it got onto papers that I had ink on it and so that got into the inside of my purse which was annoying because it was an expensive purse that it kind of spilt out in but I really like these um I don't know how much they are and I think I've seen them on Hout, Hout or Hout Look um Nordstrom's uh, page for a few times but um, I will look into these. I do like these. It did take off all of my makeup within one wipe. So when these were folded inside of the bag, they actually were pretty big. And I think one of the reasons you can tell when a, a wipe is a good wipe is the package. Um, this is really thick packaging. So um, I would have to say is if I could find these, they smell good too. It says white willow bark and cucumber extract. But yeah, if I found these somewhere cheap, because I think these are expensive, I would definitely, definitely, definitely look into them. So if you guys got those in your empty bags, what did you think of them? Did you like them or did you not like them? So I had this in a video before and this is the Intensive Eye Anti-Wrinkle Eye Pads. This is what the package looks like. There's a total of, I don't know, how many's in here? Um, I have no idea how many was in here, but it says anti-wrinkle eye pads easily removes all dirt, oil, and makeup, removes waterproof mascara. Lie, 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 lie. These were so, so bad. These kept my makeup, I think, on longer. It, like, kept it on. It was like, no, you're not coming off. You're rubbing off. I took off eyelashes with these suckers, and when I did try to use them, I had to put, like, makeup remover on the pad itself to get it off. So... Um, I don't know where I got these. I think maybe TJ Maxx or Ross or somewhere in that discount world. Um, but these were bad. Um, they were small. They were like the simple eye makeup remover pads or something like that. Um, which was cool. I mean, it's small. But when you have to add, you know, you got to add stuff to it and make it work, then no good. Even when I did put makeup remover on, makeup remover that I liked, like my oils and cleansing and stuff it still would not come off so I would not recommend these it's like you put the oils on it says no you can't come off you can't come off so highly highly would recommend not getting those the Clinians Clinians Hydro Basic Mineral I don't know I think this is like Swiss stuff makeup remover wipes face eyes lips and minerals no alcohol so probably no alcohol um, I don't know where these are from, but I bought these at somewhere for $1.99. Marshalls? I think Marshalls. These were $1.99. Can you see that? Sorry, guys. My lights are on pretty, pretty bright. Um, anyways, these um, smelled good. They, they did really, really smell good. They have the white tea in them. I think that's what I like a lot is with the white tea in it. But these did not work for my face. I have no idea why these makeup wipes, half of these things do not work for me. But these did not work for me. It When I did rub it across my face, 
my face actually got red so I think there was actually some kind of allergic reaction to these so I did actually finish the rest of the package um wipe in swatches off but these are not good and they the bad the bad there was a total of I don't know 25 maybe in there 25 wipes I'm not sure oh yes 25 wipes had to read a different language on the back um, the e.l.f. makeup remover cleansing cloths these um, have 20 um, these have the little pop-up container so that's what the package looks like um, I was using these for a while and then something happened and my eyes started getting really itchy and they started burning and then my face started burning so I think I have some kind of reaction to these because I tried a second package and got the same type of reaction, which is a bummer because these are like a buck fifty when you get them half off. I don't know. Um, it's a shame, but you know what? Bakers can be choosy. These were only three dollars or a dollar fifty, whichever way you want to put it. Um, total of twenty wipes in there, which is kind of sad. But what I did like about these wipes, um, and you know, this could be for anybody, anybody that would like them. What I liked about them is they were very, very large. So when you put them on, I only needed one wipe to um, clean my makeup off. So I would recommend those if you don't have a really good, um, if you don't have a sensitive reaction to some makeup wipes. Um, okay, so the Ole Hendrickson Truth to Glow Go wipes. This is just 10 wipes. These were in, I think, a trial kit I got last year. Um, I really like these a lot. I like the Truth. See, I even have like a little mini one here I got from a perk here. I really like this line of stuff. This smells so good. Um, best of use by 525 of 2015. Ooh, luckily I used this up before that time. <laughs> Anyways, that kind of tells you how long I've been saving these. Anyways, um, I really like these. Um, they weren't as big of a wipe that I would want them to be. But in general, I only needed the one wipe. They were steam moisturized. They didn't dry out. I didn't have to flip them upside down because there was only 10 of them in there. And they pretty much stayed and kept the moisture. But I really like these. I would totally recommend these, um, even for a sensitive skin, um, for all skin types, anti-aging. I don't know about the anti-aging, but these did actually remove my makeup, which is a plus. That is what I like. I like to use my wipes for removing makeup as a first step in take my makeup off okay so the Olivia daily cleanse and tissues um, there's 30 wipes in here these were $3.99 bought from Ross um, this is what the package looks like um, these had a very large wipe so when I was able to unfold the wipe and everything I was able to use one wipe for my entire face um, the scent of it was not terrible um, it had an olive smell to it, but if you're used to wear, using like natural coconut and natural oils on your face to remove your makeup, this will not bother you. It wasn't overpowering, but you know, it wasn't floral either. So, you know, some people don't like the fragrance things on their face because of that situation, but I really like this. I don't know if I'll be able to repurchase them. Maybe go to the website, but it says, um... Let's see. Lift the seal to remove cleansing wipe and fold the wipe completely and gently wipe over the face, neck, and eye until all dirt and makeup is removed. I was able to remove uh, waterproof ma mascara with these. So that is, you know, one of the tests that I look at with wipes is can they remove waterproof makeup um, off my face? Because that's one of the big things I need to do. Okay. Um, this is the Tarte no not the tar Target um, makeup cleanse and tellets this is the up and up brand this is 30 tellets um, it's in the blue and white package I think they're like maybe five dollars or something I like this a lot I really do um, these are a good value these are compared to um, ponds and I like ponds a lot which you'll see here in a little bit um, I like ponds a lot um, I would say if out of all of the makeup wipes, I like Neutrogena and I like Pons. So I would definitely recommend these if you're not wanting to spend out the cost of the Pons because Pons is kind of expensive. But 
getting good deal good deal on them sometimes they're even cheaper than this this one has a total of 30 towelettes in it and even those has like the like sticky thing doesn't have like a thing that holds it holds it down um it still stayed fresh and clean and wet and just stick it upside down you guys and it works so talking about ponds here's a package here this is the original fresh wet cleanse and towelettes um 30 of them i think these were like a dollar 50 or two bucks more than those target ones which is you know quite a bit of difference but i like these a lot this is um these have quilts in them um which i feel takes off the makeup a lot more than other ones do but ponds like i said is probably my favorite i love the scent it's such a fresh clean smell to it um definitely better than most of the ones i've talked about on here and then i was mentioning i about neutrogena i have a package of the neutrogena ones these are the 25 so these are the full size one um this is a refill pack because i have a container that you could put them in but um these were the first ones I actually ever tried and I really like them. Um, between this and the ponds, those were my two holy grail ones that I love um, and it has a good smell to it. It takes off all your makeup, it's a good sized um, towel to remove your makeup and you know if you have the money to do it then I would definitely recommend either ponds or Neutrogena because those are the bomb. I have three more here for you, I have two more wipes, uh, makeup wipes and then I have one other wipe miscellaneous one so the next one is the bell care switzerland skin plus 25 wipes four in one action removes makeup cleanses tones moisturizes these were purchased at ross for two dollars and 99 cents compare at eight dollars this is what the package looks like um i can't honestly say that these did anything these we're really dry as well. Um, this one says it has aloe vera, pro vitamin B5. I don't even know how you can tell the difference of what B5 is. But it says removes makeup, which it did not. It says cleanses, it did not. Did not tone, it did not moisturize. So all four things that they say is not what this did. This left makeup along my side of my cheek, which is a pet peeve for me. And then it also left makeup along my chin and along my forehead area. Not good. It did smell good and it wasn't as big of a wipe as I would want it to. Um, I mean my face, you know, it's very large so I would need a, I need a wipe to be able to take it all off without having to use like 15 wipes. Unfortunately, this one didn't make the cut and I would not highly recommend that to anyone. Just would not. Okay, um, the Olay Fresh Effects Everything Off Deluxe Makeup Removing Wet Cloths. This one has Essence of Honeysucker, Honeysuckle in White Tea. This has seven. This is just a travel one because um, I got this, this is not for sale. I got this in a Walmart beauty box. I did actually like this. I would definitely recommend purchasing it on my own. The only thing I did not like about this, and this is the only thing, is the size of the wipes. Um, it wasn't really big. I mean, you know, I want to be able to use one wipe for my entire face and not use two or three because I feel that's kind of a waste, especially when they only give you like 30 or 25 wipes. You want to have one wipe per day to last you so you don't have to buy, you know, two packages of makeup wipes for three months. Does that make sense? Or for two months, you know what I'm talking about. Um, anyways, um, they smell really good um, and they they do work. It's just the size of the package itself. And then the very last thing, it's not a wipe. I don't use this on my face because someone said it's not good for you because of the glycerin in it. But this is the Parents' Choice wipes. I use these, I have one right here. I have these right here. Um, I don't know why it's different, but oh, this is face, hands, and body. This is just deck of wipes. I use these for taking swatches off of my hand. This is also, I wipe down my desk area, so because I have a white top on my desk, I don't want makeup staining it. So I use this to wipe it down. I use it to wipe off, you know, dust off the top of things, wipe down my room, just in general. Um, so these are cheap. If you wanted to buy these separately, I think they're like $2 at Walmart. Um, you can get the ones that are scented or non-scented. These are fragrance-free, but I think they have some that are like aloe. 
but those are what I use to clean my desk and basically any surface surface that is in this room. So folks, that is my review of makeup wipes that I've collected for a very long time. No, I've not used all of those in one day. I've used those all within, you know, a year, a year and a half. I wanted to make sure I have had a variety of stuff that you guys have access to or if you see in the store. So that way, if you are at a discount store or TJ Maxx or Marshalls or anywhere, you get an idea of, you know, oh, I remember her saying something about those, if it was a good thing, if it was a bad thing. So, you know, just to clarify, these are my own opinions of what I feel has worked for me and what has not worked for me. I don't really have sensitive skin. I have oily combo skin. Um, sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's oily, sometimes it's combined. It just really depends on the weather, the time of the year, meaning seasonal. Um, and what is overall going on in my own body um, of how these makeup wipes um, react to my own body chemistry. So I hope that kind of makes sense. I'm not trying to steer you guys away from your favorite ones or your unfavorite ones and you know, she said this, she said that. That is not the intention of this video. It's all about telling you guys and showing you guys and giving you guys information about, you know, what works for me and what doesn't work for me. Just remember, most stores like Walmart or Target or Walgreens or Rite Aid or Bartels or For Myers or, you know, any of those stores have generally a really good return policy. So if you do buy one of these, um, upon my recommendation, if you do, um, and you don't like it, you can use, your, use it for swatches or you can return it back to the store. Don't let them keep your money if you don't like things. So. Hopefully that gives you a better understanding of the intention of this video, okay? Anyways, um, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to welcome you to the family. Um, other than that, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I put a lot of work and thought into this, and so, you know, I just want to give you an idea. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fabulous and wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.